What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 5.3 quart Cook Essentials air fryer and tonight I'm gonna make air fryer chicken wings using my House Autry Texas Pete wing breading mix. About to see what that do. And by the way guys I got this at Walmart. Um, I was in Walmart today and I saw this and figured I'd give it a shot interesting little mix there so let's see alright guys I just went ahead and washed the chicken off don't mind me today guys I'm doing things a little different I normally don't make chicken like this the way I'm about to do it now but I'm going to give it a shot today this way so I just want to hurry up and get this over with and see how it tastes <laughs> Now, in my experience with um, seasonings, um, at least for fried chicken, this particular brand needs a little help with seasoning. If you don't add anything to it, in my experience, it's a little bland. So I'm going to add some garlic powder. And I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. That should be good enough. Not going to add any pepper because, according to this, it's text flavored with Texas peat so it should have a little bit of bite to it right all right so let's go ahead and mix all of this up let's mix them pretty well I just want to show y'all real quick I'm mixing this for I'm just doing this for about three minutes just continuously mixing making sure everything gets everything and then I'm going to put the seasoned flour in a Ziploc bag and shake this up in there and throw it in my air fryer and we should be good to go shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook one time All right, I'm gonna do like three at a time in this bag shake it up So what I'm going to do now is sprinkle it with some olive oil, which whatever olive oil you got, use it. This is what I happen to have. You're going to do this to both sides. So I'm going to do this side first, then I'm going to put it in my air basket, air fryer basket, and then flip it and then do the other side in the basket. I'm using parchment paper in mine. You don't have to, but I would suggest using a rack if you don't. Um, it just keeps um, keeps the chicken from sticking to the bottom of the basket, or at least your breading from ripping off, in my experience. But you don't have to do either of that. I'm just trying to make your life easier. All right, looks like I got five in there, so. Just one piece of chicken will be in timeout. <laughs> now I know I said I wasn't going to put any in it before but I just made an executive decision to add some black pepper just for decoration. I like my chicken to look sexy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you'll see it when it's finished. All right. I forgot how long you do wings, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to do 400 for 20 minutes. I'm going to flip it at 10 and um, probably check it at, you know, 15 minutes and see how, where we're at. I don't think you'll need 20 minutes anyway, but better safe than sorry. Alright guys, so that's 10 minutes. I flipped them over, um, put some black pepper on the other side and sprinkled it with a little bit of olive oil again. And uh, we'll put it in for, I'll check it in 5 minutes and see how we're doing. Alright, I did them for the full 20 minutes actually. So uh, yeah, 400 degrees for 20 minutes I did them for. So. About to take it out, plate it up, and see how it tastes. 
Alright guys, there you have it. Just plate it up. I let it cool off for a bit. And now we're ready to taste it. So I'm going to get my fork out and we'll have some of this salad first. Now we got to eat the greens first so we can feel good about ourselves. You first. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Let's take a look at this chicken. Come on now. You take a bite first. Got it? Alright, you take a bite. Okay. This oil, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It has a kick to it. I taste it. Oh yeah. Now, it's not like super duper duper hot, but yeah, you're going to have to chase this with some water, which I'm going to have to get <clears throat> before the end of this video. But it's good. See that's some chicken right there? Anyway, let me sit down and properly eat this. So anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Um, guys, I do have an air fryer group uh, that I want you to join. It's called Cook Essentials Air Fryer Group on Facebook. Um, we have over 18,000 members now in there, and that's self-explanatory. Uh, if, you, if you're into um, air frying and you want to learn some new stuff, you want to show off what you've made, post pictures, self-explanatory. You need to join my group. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. And like I said, like I always say, like anything, if anything, thanks for just watching my video. And we are out.